In today's world, fashion has become a crucial aspect of society. It has reached such a high level of intensity that there is no wonder why so many people, both kids and adults, are willing to go out of their ways just to be seen wearing the latest trends in clothing. There is a whole industry created on the premise that clothes do matter and that they can lead to huge profits for numerous companies. In the end, if people are willing to spend whatever amount of money just to be seen wearing the latest fashion, why not take advantage of it? In a cruel and horrible world, this would be a rhetorical question. But in today's world, not so much. There are other things that matter more than just a pair of jeans or a pair of shoes. So we see clothing stores change their trends in every season. And sometimes we may wonder, where do these trends come from? It seems that there are well-trained people who are responsible for keeping track of the clothes that people, both men and women, wear on the streets. It's their job and it matters because this is how fashion designers can create those clothes that will attract more and more customers. These people who have their eye on what clothes people are wearing are known as trend watchers. When they start their hunt, trend watchers will not only pay attention to garments they see people wearing on the street, but they will also try to notice what types of clothes are worn in specific places, such as coffee shops, malls, workplaces, and even TV shows. This whole process aims to gather as much information as possible about what people prefer, and afterward, these preferences are made a reality. Moreover, as more and more popular people on social media wear certain clothing pieces, it's a trend that's being put into fashion and so people accept it much faster. In the end, if that person who has thousands of subscribers thinks, for example, that a pair of sneakers is fashionable, then it's a trend that all those passionate about fashion should wear as well. It only takes an Instagram post from a celebrity's account to set up a trend, because marketers constantly use this technique to make people feel something. And once they attach a certain emotion to a piece of clothing, the trend is already on its way of becoming a rule in how and what to wear. Moreover, if a specific clothing element is posted by an influencer, things become easier because it reaches more people than just making a TV advertisement. And the fact of the matter is that we, as humans, have this natural tendency to imitate whatever feels right and authentic to us. In fact, it makes sense to have a strong need to be like those whom we see being smarter, prettier, and even wealthier. And if this means wearing the clothes they wear, then it actually becomes a must in our life. This is precisely what marketers use in their process of reaching big profits through selling to us their latest clothing line or their last line of shoes. Think of Sarah Jessica Parker, who made millions of dollars from her role as Carrie from the TV hit series Sex in the City. She made so many fashion statements throughout the whole series that some people even became obsessed with her style. Or the family Kardashian-Jenner whose members are considered to be trendsetters. So this is how a single person, known nowadays as an influencer, has the ability to make a pair of jeans the number one choice any fashion lover has to make if there is a need to be in the trends. Just think of the trends fashion went through and is still following. The pajama trend caught massive attention because so many celebrities, who are also quite influential on social media as well, followed it and are still doing so. Now think of colors. What is it that makes a certain shade of green, for example, be more fashionable than others? CNBC made a report that explained how Pantone works many years in advance to understand how society shifts, and so gains a better knowledge on how people see colors. Let's take an example of the color brown. While many years ago it would have made one think about dust and dirt, nowadays, things have completely changed. As there is currently a coffee culture on the go, and chocolate has gained so much popularity, wearing the color brown can actually make you look luxurious, and it can say a lot about your financial status, if you wear it accordingly, of course. We are surrounded by rules and trends in fashion matters, 
but how willing are we to actually live our lives focusing on such material aspects? Since there are millions of dollars being spent annually on PR clothing campaigns, we should maybe think twice before we easily buy into what a fashion brand wants to sell. It can be difficult for some people to understand that there are some really dirty secrets behind those so popularized clothing brands. And it's all due to the fact that they've fallen victim to the manipulation the fashion industry is constantly using. The reality is not about what you wear in life. It's about what you do with your life.